I'm very proud to make Indian clothes because I'm Indian. I like it. And I, you know, when someone says, oh, but Indian, you know, you're making Indian clothes. So you're not really a designer. Well, that's bullshit. Have you ever seen a Jean-Paul Gaultier show? I mean, you've got girls coming out with bra tops with the nipples cut out. What does all that mean? That's all styling. That's all for stage. It's all for presentation. Actually, what's being sold is that shirt and skirt. And all the while trapping is just so much ramp appeal. Designer wear is really quite wearable. Is it right to dismiss professional designers as mere gloss and glamour boys? It is a very serious industry. I mean, it's, it's creative, so it's serious. Simple as, as somebody's creative, he's, you know, you have to take him seriously. With impressive credentials like a degree from the Kingston School of Fashion in England and work experience under the likes of Claude Montana, Versace and Alfred Nippon, who'd believe that Rohit Khosla's earliest influences were Jamini Roy and Wahida Rahman. In fact, peers at the Doon School hoped he'd be an actor one day. It was my, it was my teacher's ambition that I should be an actor, so I got taken in for a while, but thank God I didn't <laughs> stick to that, no. Can you imagine me in hum? <laughs> <laughs> They're all men designing for women. Because we can be objective. It's simple. Women are not so objective. Women designers are not so objective about women. It's a small, intimate industry, but it's booming. With markups reportedly ranging from 100 to 200 percent, boutiques are springing up all over the country.